Welcome, gentlemen. My name is Eric Carlos. I'm with DabGen Image and Lifestyle Consulting. And today's topic of discussion is going to be why it is important to look good and why you should care about what your image is and why you should take consideration into what you wear. Okay, it's going to be a short, brief video. It's not a comprehensive um, uh, video, meaning that um, there's a ton of other reasons why you should, uh, you know, take care and take pride in, in, in your image. So, uh, very briefly, first of all, people don't know who you are upon meeting you. They have no idea what you've accomplished. They have no idea who you are, what you're about, what you're like. Um, and they really have nothing to work with. So, upon meeting you, right? Hello, my name is Eric Carlos. Nice to meet you. And then they introduce themselves. My image, the way I look, the way you look, is the first thing. Even before shaking hands, even before introducing oneself, your, your image, your clothing, is the gateway in, in, into showing them a, a taste of what you're like. Because I'm assuming that all of you uh, gentlemen out there pick out your own clothes. For one reason or another, you pick a certain shirt, some, a certain pair of pants, some certain sneakers, shoes, whatever, for one reason or another. Now, that being said, you chose everything for one reason. You put it on, assuming nobody dressed you, assuming, you know, you dress yourself. You put it on for, for, for a reason. Now, whether, whether you realize it or not, what you wear says something about you. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is, is what I'm wearing, if, if what I'm wearing, I apologize, saying what I, what I want it to be saying? Because you might, you, you never know into who you're going to run into. Um, and and it, it, it's moments like those where um, what you're wearing, whether we like it or not, can make or break a potential opportunity. So, like I said, people don't know who you are. People don't know you're intelligent. People don't know, you know, you're super talented. You're super smart. You have, you know, people don't know um, you have a lot to bring to the table. So, giving them, a, a, you know, a something good to look at, a polished look, a professional look, or just something pleasant to look at will show them. This person takes care or takes pride in their image, into what they wear. Now, you don't have to be, you know, wearing a three-piece suit at all times. It's just that you're not wearing, uh, you know, uh, a t-shirt, a ripped t-shirt, some faded jeans, some really, really worn out sneakers. Now, I, there's, there's nothing wrong with them. There's a place for that. It's just that when you, when you want to be successful and you want to attract successful people, successful people all like to hang out and associate with other successful people. Now, with certain exceptions, like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg, where they can wear the same thing day in and day out because of who they are, with, you know, with that exception, you have to present yourself in present yourself in a way that that you, that you tell that you show people that you matter, that you are important, whether you whether you are or not. You can be nobody. You really can. And as long as you look well put together, polished and professional, and you know what you're talking about, or you can fake it at least, that'll get you. That'll get you far. Now, I'm not saying be fake and you know or, or lie to people. But sometimes you, you will not have access or resources um, to people or to, you know, events or whatever. But at least looking the part will get you, will get you far enough or will get you pretty far. And um, the, uh, my uh, second point is, um, is, yeah, just that first impression, you know. You want to really, really, really kill that first impression that when they meet you, um, you know, people are glad that they met you. People, you know, are impressed by you and your clothing. If if you're well put together, if you're smart, 
if you're intelligent, if you know what you're talking about, if you can hold the conversation and you're well put together, that'll set you aside from all the other average looking guys that do not have the same uh, thing to offer. You know, those people might um, be talented as well. I'm not discrediting, discrediting those people. But when, when, when you offer somebody a well, a well polished and, and good looking person, along with the smarts, whether it be book smart, street smart, any, any, any kind of smart, and you have the ability, the ability to speak and communicate with, with people effectively, you're in, man. You, you, that's, that's, that's all you need. All you need is for people to buy into your ideas and want to be associated with you. And that's what taking care of your image and taking pride into how you look, that's what it will get you. It will get you recognition. It will get you attention. And, and in society right now, the way the world works right now, the way, the way everything is set up, attention is key. You want to get people's attention. Now, attention in a positive way, not bad attention, right? Um, so, like I said, it was going to be a short, brief video, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys would add something, if you disagree with something. I encourage you guys to, you know, to, to chime in and let me know what you guys think. And um, you can follow me on Instagram at dapgent, that's D-A-P-P-G-E-N-T, on Twitter as well, uh, same handle, dapgent, D-A-P-P-G-E-N-T. And um, like I said, please feel free to, to uh, drop a comment and uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, and, and if you have any ideas, uh, please share. Um, I'd love to hear them. All right, you guys. See you next time.